Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome to you. Today we're doing the weekly reads as per the dates in the video below and I'm going to be reading for the lovely Scorpios. So Scorpio, let's start shuffling your cards and just see what comes out for you and your energies this week. What is going on for my lovely Scorpios? Let's have a look. I feel like that got a song in my head from Pink. Uh, I'm stepping out. Do, 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 do. Let's get this party started. Isn't it? Let's get this party started. <laughs> Not as though you can have any parties, but in my head, I am singing Pink. Let's get this party started. So, <laughs> what party are we dealing with here for you then, Scorps? It could be your birthdays this week, and obviously, you're just celebrating it in your own little way as you possibly can. But we've got the yin energy, which is a nice female energy around you going into the week ahead. So tickle pink about something as well. I feel like I want to say to some of my Scorpios, just having the pink uh, playing in my head just from the female artist. So let's just have a look what the other energy is that's going to marry up with you then. So we've got the yin energy. We've got pink. So yeah, get this party started, Scorpio. Okay. So what else have we got showing here? And we have, wow, lovely, earth magic, okay? Feeling the magic beneath your feet. Feeling energised as well this week. Um, I feel some of you could have taken a new protocol into place over the previous two weeks where you could have changed diet, could have been taking vitamin supplements, doing something but whatever it is, it's sort of lifted your energies and you will feel more energised. Fresh ground as well for some of you. So you could be having family members who are moving or helping family members move, okay, where possible, depending on where you are in the world because of the restrictions. But I just feel fresh ground, stepping out onto new soil and feeling grounded and happy as well because I just like the pink energy. So we're looking good so far, Scorpio. Okay, we're looking good so far. So let's dig in a little bit more. Dig in a little bit more. Okay. What else have we got going on for Scorpio? And they, those wanted to fall out for you. So we have, wow, we have the world. Okay. And we have the two of wands. So I feel here, even though you can't get anything in the planning you know actually getting anything moving at the moment it's saying here you are feeling more control in your environment and you can still put plans in place even though they can't be put into practice right now it's saying you are starting to plan ahead for the future so there's big plans in the process here that um you are containing within yourself within your psyche so that when the time comes that you can take action and move forward. So again, we've got really positive energies going on around you, Scorpio. So let's get some clarification on then. Uh, let's go for the universe camera cards. So how is the universe looking at you this week through their lens? What is Scorpio looking like to the universe this week? Well, that flipped right out. So we've got here, we've got the, the sand timer, like the egg timer. So I feel there's an opportunity that is slipping through your fingers at the minute. A golden opportunity that you feel you haven't got the, you haven't got that confidence to go for. So you've got a gift or an ability in your hands that you could work with and it's saying, the universe is saying, what are you doing? The sands of time are running through here. You've got this massive golden opportunity that you could work with and put out there into the world. You've got the confidence to do it, okay? And it's, it is literally gold. Look at all the gold here, the golden third eye, the gold sand. And it's saying, don't let this golden opportunity uh, pass you by, okay? Act upon it now. Get it sorted before the end of the year. So if you could be, if you're writing a book or anything like that, get it sorted, get it finished, get it done, Scorpio, basically. 
So let's have a look at your inner psyche. What are you hiding deep within you? What is going on in Scorpio's inner psyche? And we have obsession. So there's something around you that um, is keeping you focused. And as I said, I think you've got this burning ambition and this focus on wanting to do something. But you're not taking it any further. It's just sort of, you've just got it shelved. And that's why the, the sand time is coming, saying, yeah, you've got this obsession. You've got this drive, this ambition, this want to do something. But it's saying you've got to get starting to work upon it. Okay, you've got to start working on this. What's been, it's like a gift that you need to put out. It's your purpose in life that you need to get out there. So let's just clarify this a little bit more. So let's get the animal spirit cards to start with. Animal spirit cards. What have you got to say to this reading this week? What is coming out for you? And we have, well, B, which is the alchemical sign of air. And we have your own sign of Scorpio, which is your own water sign. So I literally want to take both of these energies because it's saying you have got all this energy of the worker bee you've got all this communication coming in as well that some of you are not addressing so it's like you've got to get your act together okay and it's as though you've got to sting yourself <laughs> okay you've got to turn that scorpio tail and sting your own backside to get shifted to get into this bee energy because it's saying you know, there's work to be done. There's a time frame to do it. And you've either got to get the communication out there to get this sorted or you've got to answer the communication to get a resolve on it as well. So it's a very, very busy time for you. And you've, it's just like this light bulb moment pings into place. I've got to get my act together. I've got to get this in sorted by the end of the year. And it's that kind of energy you're working with, Scorpio, okay? So let's just dip in on another card. What have we got coming out of the week ahead? What energy is Scorpio coming out? Can you hear any noises, guys? I've got fireworks in the background because it's the 5th of November. And I've got my cat fast asleep who's snoring. <laughs> snoring next to me so i can only apologize so we've got the hierophant so again sitting pretty it's as though this upward struggle that you were faced with it's a challenge and you will overcome it you'll be sitting in your own power thinking well i've done this challenge i've actually done this challenge okay so i'm just going to pick another card from the camera never lies <laughs> universe camera as i call these cards they're not called these cards called oracles oracle of visions so what does the vision of the universe look at scorpio going into the following week just to give a heads up so we're digging deep and we've got this card here taking a gamble taking a risk okay so the universe is saying to you look take that gamble take that risk because it's going to pay off okay don't sit back on your laurels any longer. It's time to act. It is time to act because you are going to hit the jackpot somewhere along the line on an idea or this thing, this project that you've had on hold that you need to start getting um, getting rolling on that roulette table, basically, okay? Because it's saying the odds are stacked for you not against you scorpio whatever this is if it's an investment if it's money that you want to put in something if it's money you've got to spend and you're worried about spending it it's saying caution to the wind go for it because the universe has got your back here it is supporting you on this on this journey on this issue and just have trust and faith you've got to get your backside in gear so let's just get another card out for your scorps what else is going on for scorpio what 
else is going on for Scorpio? I've got Irish connections as well for some of you. Irish connections. Um, so whether you've got relatives in Ireland or you've been speaking to relatives in Ireland or you've been thinking about moving to Ireland, but there's Irish connections here around you this week as well. Okay. And then we've got truth to be told. So can you see again all the gold that we've got here? It's like this golden academy award you know when they give you the, the golden academy awards and it's saying look you know you've got you whatever it is this idea that you're trying to gamble with it's it is the universe's window of opportunity and have the knowledge to go with it okay you're just being supported so much on this so it's just saying you know everything is there take that leap of faith scorpio so I hope you can take something from that reading, my lovely Scorpios. I hope you have a great week ahead and I will look forward to seeing you next week. Take care then. Bye.